be planning. The fireworks won't be the only things lighting up the party this 4th of July. Lifestyle expert Jamie Gottschall is here to give us some creative ideas for hosting the perfect patriotic picnic. Jamie, good morning. Good morning. Eve. Great How to are see you. you. This you display too. looks amazing, as Thank always. You. Thank you. And I know you love to throw parties. People yes. always think you spend tons of money, yes. but you say you don't, right? I don't. I really don't. Um, it's basically just having a creative edge. It's about taking one item and thinking 10 different things you can do with that one item. Mm -hmm. So, And it, red, white, and blue is everywhere right now, so red, easy white, to find. Everywhere. So let's get going and talk about some great things that will really make your party, you know, above the rest this okay. year. Starting with the invitation, which you say is very important. Well, invitation is always first and foremost, mm -hmm. um, and it could be so simple. I literally went to Michael's Craft Store. They sell patriotic sheets of paper. Mm -hmm. I started cutting it already. Okay. Um, just, I just cut out the rest of the flag section here, and I so literally like in the scrapbooking area or something. Yes, yeah. I literally did this in a heartbeat. Um, if you cut this off, little hot glue gun, put it on your toilet paper roller. Oh wow! And okay. literally so just glue it on. Um, then you would take this portion of your paper and you know, turn it into a cone mm -hmm. like this, cut the bottom, and voila, we have an invitation. Oh I stuck gosh. a fancy straw in the top. You can hand these out to your friends at the pool. Um, you could put them in a box and mail them. Um, and I just used a simple... So um, cute, Jamie. Just wrote out a simple just, um, invitation yeah, just printed on the it printer, out. and I used a color printer, and that's it. I rolled it up. These are stickers that come um, on a sheet, uh, patriotic stickers. And even a straw at the yes, top? this is a straw as well. Let's see. So Adorable. Okay, so so great. I mean, if you get this, you know the party's going to be fabulous. Well, and you it, get a good it, first it sets the tone, the mm -hmm. theme for the event. So, okay. And it says, you know, to dress in red, white, and blue. And Okay, well, that's so. fun. Okay, and then moving on, uh, cupcakes. I know you have a great idea for some little well, party cupcakes. Well, it's about simplicity, again. You want to do this quickly, um, unless you have tons of time, which I'd say most people do not have. Right, especially with um, the kids' home Right, everything. you could make your own homemade icing or... As I chose today, Betty Crocker, All just right, to show that's my you girl. that you could do it simply and inexpensively. Yes. Um, just, you know, you start out and you just put a, a lot. I use a lot of yeah. frosting. That way you don't pick up the uh, cake, tear up the cake. So these you did already that I are did out those there? This they morning. look so professional. Yes. It's so simple. Yeah. Take that upside down in your sprinkles. sprinkles. You could use white, you could use red, white, and blue. Doesn't matter. Boom, done very quickly. Beautiful. And then a pick. We have now, where do you picks. get all these little accessories? Um, Orientaltrading.com okay. is a fabulous site. In fact, I got everything from there um, hats, uh, the, all of the accessories that you see here. Okay. So. And I know you're big on props and accessories because, yes. especially for the 4th of July, it's really a family party. You know, you're probably going to have yes. guests of all ages at your party. Yes, that's correct. Um, so, one of the important things is that you would like to keep the children entertained right. for a long period of time. So, the grown ups. Can have some fun. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we have party hats. Um, I found yesterday, I love this, a s'mores kit. It has everything from the graham ca fun. crackers to the marshmallows, the sticks. It has campfire songs. Oh, that's you name great. it, it's in there. The chocolate's in there as well. So late night if you have the fire pit going or yes. something. Yes. Now, what do you do at your parties? Do you set out all of the, the props so the kids can grab a hat from the table? I mean, do you decorate I do. it just I, like you did I, today? I just buy a ton of the same thing, stick it in uh, one container. Here it's a mm -hmm. sand pail. I did fill it with sand. That holds all the flags in place. It's very oh, simple. That's great. And those serve as your party favors. They then, serve too, as right? the party favors and then you don't need flowers. Um, okay. It's just very simple great. to um, have a centerpiece as well as turning it into your favors. Super. So decorations become party favors. Yes. Love it. How about beverages? Well, beverages are simple as well. If you don't want to deal with sticky stuff and mm -hmm. pouring things out of containers, um, I purchased these Jones sodas in red, white, and blue okay, um, at Old cute. Navy. I've also purchased them in the past at uh, Target. Okay. So simple and easy. Great. Bed and the advice, kids love it. Stick them in. Children love it. It's, 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 it's a hit. Great it's idea. red, white, and blue. Love it. Okay, coming and up in our next straws. segment, uh, those are adorable. We'll talk uh, games, music, more decorations, lots more fun uh, when we come right back. And don't forget, you can check out Jamie's blog for more great ideas. And that is Jamie Gottschall, the New York lifestylist.blogspot.com.
www.thepeopleshow.com. I think we have a graphic of that. We'll get that up in our next segment so you don't forget. Stay with us. We're coming right back. There it is after these messages. Well, with the 4th of July right around the corner, we're talking about how to throw a patriotic picnic that's sure to sparkle today. Lifestyle expert Jamie Godshall from Saucon Valley is back with some more party tips that are sure to impress your guests this holiday weekend. Jamie, everything looks amazing. Thank Welcome you. back. So let's talk a little bit more about some of the other things you like to use at your 4th of July party, starting with some centerpieces that are awesome. Okay, centerpieces are so simple. Um, mm -hmm. From orientaltrading.com, I purchased the majority of this of these items very inexpensively just about buying in bulk just basically sticking it all into one container and once it's all in you can raise it to different heights and levels and it, it could, you could create a pretty massive uh, display okay um, I purchased some just simply they were simple plain buckets from Target sure. and with some painters tape literally just wrapped it around spray painted red white and blue and done. So it um, took you probably just a couple of minutes to do that. It took a couple of minutes mm -hmm. in my yard. My mm -hmm. neighbors think I'm crazy, but that's, <laughs> that's just all right. the way it is. <laughs> um, and here, you know, I basically just put some floral foam in the bottom, um, put some of this, um, I, I forget what they call this, but just like a paper shred paper or shred. something. Yeah. And um, just started sticking things in, you know, the high things in the back, go a little lower and then a little lower. Nice to have something different than your, your typical flowers in the center of the table. It is. Especially it's a nice for a fun party. It okay. Is. Patriotic. And again, you let your guests then at the end of the party take some of this stuff. So you're, so you makes cleanup easy. Take everything. Okay. It, it's just so much easier than flowers. Perfect. What else do you have out here on the well, table? Well, I purchased some um, things to entertain the children. For example, the patriotic gliders. There's one for everyone. Here we have these punch balls, which are terrific. You know that the children will have a ton of fun with these. Oh, yeah. They're so um, here we have and the, the grown-ups the, too, probably. Yes, right? the patriotic fans, which also the, the adults would enjoy, mm -hmm. um, because it does get hot. Yeah. So um, basically, these are the fans in here. So again, you just set out these like canisters on your on your tables, and folks just, just set come. them out. You can even fill them with patriotic candy. In the past, I've used red, white, and blue jelly beans. I've used red, white, and blue M and M's. Um, here we have Chinese yo-yos. These are patriotic stickers that come layered just as they are okay. um, for the boys especially um, the parachuters that they can throw in oh, red white and fun. blue and uh, red white and blue swirly good so moms parts. and dads don't have to be sitting there right. thinking okay what can the kids do next there are plenty of options yes, yes. cute little lollipops um, and then the last thing are those uh, paddle balls that they could have some fun with and some sparklers great and again this theme is just such an easy one right it is. now it is. To highlight some of the places you said oriental trading uh, if folks don't have time to order online where should they go at this stage oh, of the gosh, game? you can find anything anywhere at a mm -hmm. grocery store at Michael's craft store mm -hmm. uh, everywhere you turn there's patriotic merchandise. So mm -hmm. this is actually my most favorite and easiest holiday to cover mm -hmm. because it's all right there. Um, Walmart is another great one. Right. They love novelty items. Okay. So you'll find tons of merchandise So again, there. as you said, just buy in bulk. Yes. You know, you can buy something inexpensive yes. like these little flags and just go to town. And the tablecloths are from Marshall's Home Goods. So okay, great. They always have great things. Let's talk music. I know okay. you're a big fan of music that matches well, the theme. Just music to... sets the tone. Mm -hmm. um, for the whole party. It keeps everybody alive. Um, if you have great patriotic music, I have some uh, sample examples for you. Uh, 1812 Overture, Stars and Stripes Forever, God Bless America, Saturday in the Park. Just a basic idea of some some great um, songs for the 4th of July. Great. And I know you have one more uh, special feature that you use at your parties back here. I think we were going to oh, yes. turn on. And again, we want to mention your blog, Jamie Gottschall, the New York Lifestylist blogspot.com. And your blog, you'll be blogging more about some I of will. your party uh, tips. And, I will. For the and I will July. be blogging about 4th of July and all of these ideas also, as well as Facebook. Um, there'll be a lot of photographs and tips on both. Great. I love the bubbles. Thank and you, again, you don't have to spend a lot of money, right? You don't. You don't. Do you recommend having a budget before you go to go crazy shopping? Well, typically people like to have a mm -hmm. budget, um, but I think more it's not just the budget, it's having an idea of what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, 
if you have a lot of flags and, and simple things, it's, it's just as simple as that. Um, what I forgot to mention, though, was um, great things for children. Limbo stick to keep the party going. Okay. Um, base, um, Orientaltrading.com also sells patriotic potato sacks. You get a potato sack races. Oh, great. The list goes on and on. You could buy red and blue frisbees. A fabulous place to go is five below. Okay, um, yeah, they have some all great kinds stuff of wonderful merchandise. For $5 or below. So That's right. pretty reasonable. Jamie, great party as always. You Thank always you. make it seem Thank so you. fun. Again, check out Jamie's blog for more information. Stay with us. We'll be right back after these messages.